I am the true alpha male, the living legend of hair loss, the Hollywood Jew of hair loss. I am so many things to so many people. I am Nick Shell. Let's talk about it. We know the zero guard buzz cut. I use this Remington Shortcut Pro to do that. You can check out that video if you haven't seen it already. I had to start though with the beard because I didn't want to mess up the beard. I, yeah, I had to start with the beard and then do there. So if you want to check out that video where I did that, that's on this channel. But I want to talk a little bit more on the backstory on what led me here because I was kind of going back and forth. I was like, well, every year and a half I buzz off my hair. It's kind of getting time. My hair was just fine. There wasn't a problem. It was a good cut, good length, whatever. But I had this beard. And I thought, man, if there was ever a time to get rid of the hair, it's now that I got this three and a half week old beard. So I did. But leading up to that, what really helped motivate me to that point, I was watching, I guess by default, one of my favorite current shows uh, on Netflix. It's called Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. And in the newest season, there was a comedian named Mario Joyner. Definitely check that episode out. Uh, he, he says something quite insightful. He's talking, so he, I would say, looks like me, except he's a black man. <laughs> and he's got, he's got the beard, completely shaves his head. And something he said when, when Jerry Seinfeld, who doesn't have a beard, asked him about it. Mario's response was, he said, it's the last thing that men still have left. Women can do anything now and are doing anything now. But the one thing that women do not want to compete with is having a beard. Now to expand on that, this is me kind of chiming in here. If a woman did want to have a beard, then I would submit to you that she would want to be a man. I mean, there's even, you know, there's females now doing buzz cuts even. That's one thing, but growing a beard, even if they could, you probably want to be a man if you're a woman who has a beard or you, women don't want beards. And there's a reason for that. It's exclusively a man thing. You know, proudly, let's let a woman be president. Let's let women do whatever they want. But the one thing that they don't want to do that we still have domain over is the beard. And I get it. I get it. Beards come in trends. You know, but I feel that right now, never in the history of, of modern pop culture has it been so important to have a beard because it is the one thing that we definitely have left as men that no one, no women would want or should want. It's exclusively a male thing. Now, granted, I say this all the time about shaving your head, specifically about male pattern baldness, balding in general. But even if you're not balding and you shave your head anyway, still, that's pretty high on the on the spectrum of masculine masculine things specifically for men to do. But man, when you've got the beard with it, this is quite the killer combo. So I do think that's interesting. I think it is quite insightful. I think it's this message that we have probably in the back of our minds known. Why are so many men, ha why do they have beards all of a sudden? Where's this coming from? Even if they have a, f have, you know, a full head of hair and perfect hair or whatever, you're still seeing the beards. I think definitely it speaks to, to the culture. A culture where we, you know, by default, we're becoming a culture, and I don't think this is a bad thing at all, but a feminist culture. And by simple definition, when I think of feminist, a healthy definition of feminist is a person who believes that women should be able to do anything a man can do. If that's what the woman wants to do, she should be able to do the thing. And I, I don't see why, why that would bother me, why that, why not? You know, that's great. But the beard, man, they don't want the beard. They shouldn't want the beard. This is exclusively masculine. And I think now in this fall season of my channel, as obviously all of these videos are going to be based around the buzz cut. Uh, we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking about beards a lot because they go hand in hand. I, I keep saying that, you know, so many of my viewers, they, they struggle with the concept of, of their own identity and what it means to be attractive. And what's funny is you take the hair away and if you can grow a beard, that's the best combo. That's the most masculine thing you do. What I think, to be attracted to females, you should want to be masculine. <laughs> and and, I, and again, I, I keep bringing this up because it's important. 
But what's confusing is a lot of my viewers are so caught up on being attractive in a certain Ryan Seacrest sort of way that they're ultimately, it's almost like they're trying to attract other men. They're thinking like a gay man trying to attract women, when in reality, psychologically, is how you're going to attract women more than anything. Making her feel cared about, listened to, uh, making her feel cared for, protected, uh, all of those things, making her be able to laugh. But there's, ultimately, I'd say if, if we were to talk about a hack to this concept, you want to broadcast your masculinity. So, but Nick, I can't grow any hair. Okay, I can, but look, I choose not to have it. <laughs> and I love it. This is broadcasting masculinity. This is broadcasting masculinity. Talking as if you're confident in yourself is masculine. But knowing how to turn that conversation back to other people is even more masculine. Being in control of your emotions is huge. I talk about this all the time. When you're in control of your own emotions, people see that as attractive. So I wanted to make this video because this is really just kind of bringing everything together. To be attractive to females, it's not simply looking a certain way. And I keep saying Ryan Seacrest because when I think of Ryan Seacrest, in theory, he's a perfect looking man by default. Perfect hair, perfect tan, perfect bone structure, perfectly thin, right? I mean, if, if that's what we're going for. But I say, why would you want to follow that kind of model? Because when we think of Ryan Seacrest, we're not thinking of masculinity. We're thinking of pretty boy, right? Not that there's anything wrong with that. Because maybe you can't grow a beard. And maybe you have perfect hair, but you're still not confident. See, I think that's the fundamental issue. Because even guys that have no hair loss, they watch my channel and still they fear that they might go bald eventually. And the fact that they're carrying that around, they're no better off, in my mind, than the guy who actually is bald young. As long as that guy bald young embraces it, because again, that's broadcasting that masculinity. Saying, you know what? In a traditional sense, I'm not perfect in this category, but at least I, I know what I'm doing in these categories. Owning up to what, where you don't measure up in society or whatever it is, a lot of times even that is a perception. I think ultimately society is doing us a favor right now with such having such feminine culture, which again, I completely celebrate and I want women to be able to do every, anything they want. A hundred percent I support that. But I think by default that gives us men an advantage because those of us who embrace masculinity, basically, how can I say this? You're that much more magnified because of it. This is the time to shave your head. Remington Shortcut Pro. This is the time to shave your head. This is the time to grow your beard. This is the time to really make that work in your favor. We should be celebrating this. But keep in mind, it's all about a masculine mindset. It's about appearing to be confident, appearing to be in control, appearing to be decisive, being funny, knowing what you're good and what you're bad at, and knowing how to lead other people in conversations. Even when you bring up yourself, you still you find a way to get the conversation back on them and get them talking about themselves and making them feel good about themselves. All you're really doing is delegating the conversation. And by doing so, you appear to be confident. These are some of the most important things you can hear from anybody. But yet, people want to make it on such superficial things. And if we want to make it about our appearance, it's pretty basic. If you're worried about hair loss or you're worried, you know, either, either that you are actually losing your hair or that you might be, just get rid of just get rid of it. There you go. Okay, done. You don't have to worry about it. That way, if you do go bald, doesn't matter anyway. If you can grow a beard, do it. Now, if anything, sorry, I don't have much of a solution for you if you can't grow a beard. But typically, in general, men who uh, are going to go bald or sooner in life are going to have good genes for a beard. And typically, the guys who aren't going to go bald young in life are going to be the ones who can't grow a beard anyway. But either way, and some of you can have a little bit of, of both, because some guys can't grow a beard until after they're 18 and not until their 20s. And if that's the case, that's more of a sign that you won't be going bald anyway. I know some guys like that. 
You know, I know a guy who's 34 years old, perfect head of hair, and he couldn't grow a beard until his mid 20s, and he still have all of his hair now. So I'm saying this, but either way, if you can grow a beard, grow a beard. Now's the time. If you're brave enough, and I use that in the title, what did I say? Bald, bearded, and brave. And that should, I need to make that its own official video to really exclusively talk about how brave it is to do such a thing. So there you go. Having a beard is exclusively masculine. Celebrate and exploit that. Shaving off all your hair, even if you can still have what's perceived as a full head of hair, that absolutely is a masculine move. And again, ultimately, we can even say brave. I need to make a whole other 11 minute video about that. As for now, your comments on this video belong right here.